Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 14th day, the month of April 2023. I am Grace Dorcas Ulekachi for major headlines. Again, Gavnik Bazi vows to leave Abia better than he met it, secures 50 million US dollars infrastructure funds. I can to train officers of my Nigerian police force on forensic accounting. Workers protest 45 months on paid salaries in Plateau State. We'll take commercials, we'll be right back with details and many more. Stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. Governor Kizik Bazuo Pabia State has insisted that he intends to leave the state better than he met it in 2015 when he took over leadership in the state. To this end, the governor has secured a 50 million US dollars fund that will facilitate the construction of 500 kilometers of roads in the state by the incoming administration. Governor Bazu announced this on Thursday during an interaction with newsmen at the governor's lodge Abba. One of the legal representatives of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafara, IPOP, Mazi Namdekanu, Barrister Maxwell Okbara, has again insisted that the Abia bond right activists needs adequate medical attention following his incarceration at the facility of Department of State Services in Abuja. Namdekanu's lawyer have repeatedly urged the federal government to free him to have access to his personal physicians as his health keeps deteriorating. Barrister Obara in a Facebook post on Thursday said he met Namdekanu along with his sister in the facility on Thursday in Abuja where he complained of tiredness with chest pain. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria has announced plans to commence forensic accounting training for police officers in the country. The ICANN president, Malam Tijani Musa, who disclosed this yesterday during the Institute 2023 facility induction ceremony, said that the training will further support the effective discharge of the officers' public duties and responsibilities, as well as deepen ICANN's role in national development especially in financial fraud detection and prosecution. Ad hoc workers crippled activities at the Plateau State College of Health Technology in the Pansching local government area of the state yesterday over 45 months of unpaid salaries. They barricaded the main gate of the institution at about 10 a.m. displaying plea cards with inscription about their plight. The protesters said they would continue with the action until their demands are met. However, there was no official comment on the development as the provost of the college, Dr. Wang Waji, did not respond to calls as, as of the time of this report. The Director General of Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria, Smadan Olawale Fasanya has said that over 2 million businesses in nano, micro and small and medium enterprises subsector died between 2017 and 2021 alone, pushing more than 6 million Nigerians into unemployment market. He said that the debt of the businesses were largely caused by insecurity that had denied farmers access to their farms inadequate access to affordable funds, high cost of doing business, inflation, and lack of access to local, regional, and global market, among others. He made this known at the opening ceremony of Cluster Empowerment Program on Share Butter, organized by the agency in collaboration with the Niger State Government, which was held in Mina, the state capital. The Lagos State Ministry of Education has extended the deadline for the registration of the 2023 Basic Education Certificate, Certificate Examination, BECE, a statement on Thursday by Orusolu Adebayo, Director of Lagos State Examinations Board, 
announced the postponement. The Inspector General of Police Osman Akali Baba has presented 84.5 million Naira checks to 34 dependents of policemen who died in active service in Zamfara State. Nan reports that Baba was on Thursday represented by the ceremony at the ceremony rather by the acting commissioner of police Ali Dabigi. People's Democratic Party Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar has directed the All Progressives Congress APC and its presidential candidate Bola Tinibu for attempting to present the 460 million US dollars for future case at tax evasion related matters and not drug charges. Atiku, in a statement by his special assistant on public communication, Mr. Frank Shaibu, said after the lies told by Tinibu and his surrogates, the truth has finally been unraveled through the process filed by the All Progressive Congress APC as the presidential election petition tribunal. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and CDC Kano State Command says it has arrested no fewer than 93 suspects for various crimes in the state between January and March. Mr. Adamu Salihu, the NSCDC State Commandant, disclosed this in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Kanu on Friday. A 21-year-old U.S. airman has appeared in court today in connection with a leak of highly classified military document about the Ukraine war and all the national security issues. Jack Dazaria was arrested by the FBI at his family home in Dinton, rural Massachusetts, on touch day this brings us to the end of the news at eight but before we go we can buy me your stories again governor ikbazi vows to leave abia better than he met it secures 50 million us dollars infrastructure funds i can to train officers of nigeria police on forensic accounting workers protest 45 months on paid salaries in blacher state these and many more different platforms just look on to www.abntv com.ng and you can also follow us on all social media platforms being listed on the screen i am grace stalkers and you catch up with the night rest stay safe